and what's the future of wealth management. So globally, the industry started as a product or transaction center, moving on to an asset allocation center, moving on to a financial planning center, to a client experience center. A lot of people are still at the product or transaction centered level. Some have moved to an asset allocation level. Fewer at the financial planning level and very, very, very few at the client experience level. Like I said earlier, I started my journey on the financial planning centric side, right? Back in 2005. And though I was obsessed about client experience, it was not until 2015 that I started Happiness Factory with a strong focus on client experience at scale, at scale. And you know, how do you deliver a wow client experience to 1 million clients? And that was the objective, that scaling up client experience, right? So one thing, if you need to take away from this zone is that the future lies in the financial planning centered and the client experience zone. The other end, which is the product or transaction centered or an asset allocation centered has been commoditized globally, has been commoditized and can be done by anyone else faster, cheaper and better. So the point that I would like to make is that the, you need to have a very, very, very strong value proposition in the financial planning and the client experience zone. So which brings me to my next point is what is your value proposition? So think about it. What is it that you deliver for your clients? Do you deliver an ROI? Do you deliver a 10%, 12%, 15% return for your clients? Or do you deliver a return on life? Now, what do I mean by return on life? Okay, your return on life means you're helping your clients live their happiest financial life or you're helping your clients live the life that they have dreamt of or that they have imagined with their money, right? That's, that's called as like return on life and that's, that's something which is a fantastic you know, value proposition. Now, just think about it. Let me give you an example. Uh, you imagine you get Aladdin's lamp and a GD suddenly appears. Now, you have two choices. You have two choices, but you get to choose only one, right? So option A, option A is you get a 15% return. Let's say a 15% return. Option B is that you get to live your happiest financial life and you get to pursue your passion. Now, which one would you choose? Which one is more powerful, right? If you are like me and many other people, option B is a no brainer, right? And that's exactly what my first trend is all about. The first trend focuses exactly on this, which is, the, which is your value proposition. So what's, what's your value proposition, right? So is it the technical side of money versus the life side of money value proposition? Now the technical side of money obsesses with products, strategies, and more products. Now you Sapna Naran today spoke about an elderly client of hers where she, it had got nothing to do with money. It had got absolutely nothing to do with debt funds, uh, with, with products, nothing. But it had got everything to do with her experiences that she's gone through over a lifetime, right? So the whole point that I'm trying to kind of you know, make is that we are here to answer some of the most expensive questions that people have. Just hear this out, that we are here to answer some of the most expensive questions which people have. Do I have enough? How much is enough? Am I doing okay? Will my family be okay? Am I on track? What do I need to do to get on track? Right? Remember your client is not a number. Remember your client is not a number. That's why I'm not a big fan of AUM. So I always, you know, talk about lives under management more than assets under management. I always, you know, talk about lives under management. So remember your client is not a number. He's a living, breathing person with dreams aspirations, goals, and a purpose. Now, very, very, very few people are focusing on the life side of money. And this is your space. This is your competitive advantage. There are millions of people focusing on the technical side of money, right? Whereas there are very, very, very few people who are focusing on the life side of money. And that's your source of competitive advantage.